Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can create Google tasks using Trello card. Now suppose there is a person who has A, B, C, D persons under him or her. Now what is happening? They are, uh, you know, working as a software video creator. Like I am working as a software video creator and I have a few of my friends as well doing the same. Now what will happen? There is a person who is creating slide content for us. So what we will do? We will create different cards by our names and then from those cards we are going to automatically create a Google task for the person who is creating slides for us. Okay. Now to show this as an example I am going to show you how it is done in my video. For now to do this automation we are going to use an integration and automation software Pabli Connect which will help us connect Trello and Google tasks together so that whenever a new card is created a new task will automatically be created in the Google tasks. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen now. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y pebbly.com slash connect. And as soon as we will do that, you will see that we will be redirected to this, uh, to this page. And here you can see we have two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up. Now signing in is very easy. If you already have an account, you can go for sign in. If you do not have an account, you can go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So go and sign up so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you. Now I already have an account here so I'll just go for sign in. And here what we have to do we are just going to go for login. And then we are going to click on access now. Now here you can see. We have all these automations done here already. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on create workflow and here I'm going to give the name of my workflow. So, okay. <clears throat> so now we are going to give it the name Trello to Google tasks. Okay. Now we'll just click on create. Now I am giving it this name. You can name it whatever you want to. It's completely up to you. So let's just click on create. And after clicking on create, what we have to do, you can see we have this uh, window here, trigger window and action window. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So what we are going to do, first we are going to choose our app, which is trigger app, which is Trello. And here we are going to go for a new card with the details, okay? Now I'll just click on connect. Now we are going to go for add new connection and here you have to put in username, API key and token. Now how you are going to get these, you have to follow this simple step and you have to click here. As soon as you will click there, you will see this is your key. Here what you have to do, you just have to copy this key, go back to your Pebbly Connect account and paste it in the API key field. Now you will go back into the developers API section and here you can see you can manually generate a token. So let's just click on this. And you can see this is your username Ashirai2. So just copy this username, go back and paste it here. So now this is your username and here in token, what you have to do, you have to go back and here just go down and click on allow. As soon as you will click on allow, this will be your token. You will just copy this, go back and click on token. Sorry, uh, paste the token field here. Now what you have to do, you have to just click on save and as soon as you will click on save, you will see you will have the option to select the board and the list. So let me just uh, show you my Trello here. Now this is my Trello and these are my boards here. Okay. Now what we are going to do, let's just uh, take this board Moonstruck. So let me just open this board Moonstruck. And you can see here I have, uh, okay, I have so many lists here. So let's not take this. It will become too complicated for you people. So let me just go back. And let me just choose another board, Pinterest posts. Yeah, this one is cool. So what we are going to do, we are just going to create a new card here. And what we will do first, we will go for a new list here. And after that, we are going to create a new card here in the list. So we'll go for create. So I have archived all the lists here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add another list here. And I'm going to list uh, add the title. slide 
content okay so i am going to uh, make this list slide content and i am just going to uh, add this list here and now what we are going to do we are going to add a new card now as soon as we are going to add a new card you will see we will have a new response here so first let me select the board which was which was uh, which was uh, which was which board pinterest posts so let's just go for pinterest posts and then here go for slide content okay this is the list now we are just going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we will do that it will ask us for the response now what is the response the new card which we will create will be the response so we will go back here and we will add a card so now what we have to do we have to assign a task to david now david is responsible for the slide content of the team so let us just do it like this hello david okay please make my slide content for the new topic on trello to google tasks thank you and here i am going to write my name arpit sharma okay now what i am going to do i am just going to click on enter and as soon as i will do that you can see here is a new card hello david please make my slide content for the new topic on trello to google tasks thank you arpit sharma now here so you can see <coughs> i have recaptured the webhook response once again and this is the response here hello david please make my slide content for the new topic on trello to google tasks thank you arpit sharma now what i am going to do here in next application i now have the title as a new card which i am going to set for my google tasks and here what i am going to do i am just going to go and click on sorry not click on select and another useful feature by pavli which is filter so what i am going to do in filter i am just going to use a technique called mapping and here i am just going to map in the title which i just made of the card which is this one now here what i am going to do if it contains the name of david okay only then the uh, you know task from my board and from my list will go to the google tasks and a new task will be created in google tasks otherwise that card will not go further in our automation and the automation will stop so you can see it is written here david and if it contains david we will click on save and send test request and as soon as we will do that you can see status is success and message is condition is true now what we are going to do we are just going to go for google tasks and after selecting google tasks here in action event we are going to just go for create task then i will connect my google task here i'll go for add new connection connect with google task here i will go for ashira because i have my google task in this account now i'll click on continue and as soon as i will click on continue you will see the authorization is successful now i have these tasks here my task trello and integration app now what i'm going to do here you can see i have this uh, task trello so i'm just going to go here and select trello and now it is asking me for the task title so what i will do i will just put in a title manually where i am going to write new slide required okay so this is my task title and uh, you know always my task title will be the same but the name of the person will change according to the card we will make so we will just go here you can see notes here i'm just going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data from this window here and it will let me put the data here in this window so i'll just go for trello card and here i'll just go and map this hello david please make my slide content for the new topic on trello to google tasks thank you arpit sharma now what i am going to do i am just going to click on send uh, save and send test request and uh, as soon as i will do that you will see here a new task has been made and when we will go here and we will refresh you can see new slide required 
and here you can open this and uh, david can open this and david can see this because david is the only person who has access to this google task so you can see new slide required hello david please make my slide content for the new topic on trailer to google task thank you arpit sharma now we are going to do this once again now i am going to uh, add a new card for another of my video member so what is he saying he is saying the exact same thing let me just copy this and let me just paste it and here please make my slide content for the new topic on asana to google sheets okay thank you and this is the name of my another team member nitin maheshwari now just click on add card and as soon as you will add card automatically it will go to your pebbly connect account and from there it will go to your google tasks and when we will go back to our google tasks and refresh this you will see that a new task will be created here new slide required hello david please make my slide content for the new topic on asana to google sheets thank you nitin maheshwari so david knows that uh, from whom the request is coming and what is the request all about so this is how you can connect your trello cards with your google task so that whenever there is a new card created with the details what you can do is you can just go for google tasks and you can add that task to your google task through pebbly connect now what you can do you can also use this in your you know uh, personal life if you want to create it for some some specific tasks in your uh, uh what should i say no in your friends or between your uh, uh, colleagues in colleges or something like that or you can use it in your company for several uh, various different projects now <clears throat> if you want to clone this workflow you can just go into the description box and clone this workflow and if you want to clone this workflow you <coughs> have to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free signing up will only take few minutes and it is completely free so go and sign up now and it is also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so do not wait go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you